Yo, what's up, Dog Pound? So, today, we're doing a rib cook. Why ribs again? It's Freedom Ribs. We're doing a collaboration with some other uh, YouTubers. I'm going to have their links down below there, so you can go check out their pages as well. Make sure you uh, support them. Give them a thumbs up. Give them a subscribe if you haven't done that yet. But yeah, today it's all about ribs. Freedom Ribs. Y'all with it? Let's get it. Alrighty guys, so for our Freedom Ribs collaboration, I've got uh, three racks here. I've got a couple of baby back ribs and I've got some uh, St. Louis ribs. So we're going to work on getting these things trimmed up and uh, get the membranes off. Fairly easy process. I think everybody knows how to do this. So all of this excess fat on the end of this uh, St. Louis cut I'm going to get rid of here. All in all, I don't think the rack looks too bad. Definitely we're going to take the skirt off here. Just like that. Then what we're going to do, is I got a butter knife here. Here we're actually going to put this under the membrane, between the membrane and the bone, and kind of lift up a little bit. So we get our finger underneath to kind of separate that membrane a little bit. And then we're going to take a paper towel so we can grab onto the membrane and pull it off. And if you're lucky, you get the whole membrane off at one time. Just like that. So we got that discarded. A little bit more we're gonna cut away here. And alrighty, we got our St. Louis uh, cut ready to go. And okay, we're gonna get the membranes taken off of these uh, baby bags right quick. Alrighty guys, so we're ready to go ahead and get these ribs seasoned. And uh, I've got three uh, different layers I'm gonna put on. First, we're gonna start with just my regular AP rub. It's just uh, salt pepper, garlic. So we're going to put a layer of that on. We're not going to go too heavy. Next layer, we're going to use this uh, Lotta Bowl Barbecue Red Dirt. So we're going to put a layer of that on. And again, we're not going to go too heavy with it either. And our last layer is going to be Malcolm Reed Killer Hogs Barbecue Rub. Great color on this stuff if you haven't used it. This one I don't want to go a little heavier on. Uh, the salt content is not too high on it, so it's a good one to put on. So, we've got the three layers on. We're just going to kind of pat it in. We're not rubbing it, we're just patting it in. And uh, we're going to let this hang out a little bit and uh, get a sweat on before we do anything else. We'll flip it over and do the other side after. All right. All right, so what is this collaboration about? Well, it's Freedom Ribs is what it's called. Hashtag Freedom Ribs to be exact. And the uh, thought behind this is we're looking to do ribs uh, more of a traditional American way. You know, people like to do ribs all kinds of different ways, whether it's got, you know, an Asian feel to it, whether it's got, you know, Caribbean, you know, whatever. I mean, there's tons of different ways to do ribs, guys. But today, it's going to be all about American-style ribs, things that we would do here, you know, things that would traditionally be done on a barbecue day. If you get out there, fire up the grill, put some ribs on, how would you do it? You know, what kind of barbecue sauce would you use? Would you use barbecue sauce? You know, that type of thing. So, all of us are going to get together here and do this collaboration, and that's what the goal is here that's what the aim is so enjoy what you guys see here and understand this is all about american style barbecue ribs all right so if you guys can see that uh, 
Um, you can kind of see these ribs have kind of sweated in. We got a little moisture there on the top now. And it's probably, these ribs have been sitting for probably about 15 minutes or so. And so uh, this is what we're looking for. So now that we got this, we're, we've got this, the ribs uh, seasoned and sweated on the back side, we're gonna go ahead and flip them over and get the front side seasoned, all right? All right, guys, so let's get these ribs flipped over. Let's get the uh, top side seasoned here. And again, we're gonna start with that uh, all-purpose rub. And again, we're not going too heavy. And why do I sprinkle high? Well, it promotes an even layer there, guys. This uh, shaker kind of pulled a little heavy though, but it's all good. And again, with the uh, Malcolm Reed's uh, Killer Hogs in here, it doesn't have a high uh, content of salt, so I tend to go a little heavier on this rub. I like this one. Gives a great color. And as I said, it's not too salty. All right, so we're gonna pat these guys in, pat the seasoning in, and we don't rub it because we want that eat that uh, seasoning to stay on there nice and even. So when you start rubbing it around, you pretty much kind of move the seasoning around, and you might have a lot of rub in one spot and none in another. We want to stay pretty consistent, so that's why we're gonna sprinkle it on and pat it in, guys. All right, and so we got that done. We're gonna again let these guys hang out and we're gonna let them sweat. And uh, once they've sweated, I'll bring you back. We'll be back at the grill and we'll get them put on. And we'll get this uh, hashtag freedom ribs thing done. All right, you with me? All right, here we go. All right, guys, I just wanna give a shout out to my barbecue brothers out there. As I said, we're doing this uh, hashtag freedom ribs collaboration. And uh, definitely make sure you go check out their pages. Give them a thumbs up. Give them a subscribe if you haven't done it already. But uh, who's all in this collaboration? Well, let's see. We got The Real Show Barbecue. We got Red's Barbecue and Pizza Real. Cooking with CJ. What's New Barbecue. Cooking with James. Daddy Dutch Barbecue. Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue. Chicken Fried Barbecue. And Gray County Grill. So guys, again, give them support. Go check out their pages, check out their videos, see what they have to offer, give them a thumbs up, give them a subscribe. You know what it is, dog father. Let's go. So as you guys can see, it's kind of a wet, cold day here. So I was gonna cook on the LSG today, but uh, nah, I think I'm gonna stay with the comforts of the uh, Yoder under the uh, covered patio. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, Yoder uh, pellet smoker fired up. So y'all bear with me. It's uh, you know, it's a difficult process to get these uh, pits uh, fired up. So y'all, y'all, y'all support me here. Give me some strength, right here. Let, let's get this thing started. Just like that, we got it started, guys. Just like that. I mean, it was difficult, but you know, through the strength that y'all, you know, give me and support me, I was able to get it done. So we're gonna let this thing get warmed up. Let it come up the temp. We're gonna get these ribs on. All right? Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're back at the grill. Our ribs are sweated. They're ready to get on, so we're gonna do it. So again, we're uh, working with the Yoder YS640 today. We're gonna run the pit here at about 275. Get these ribs done today. Remember, guys, whenever you uh, put your ribs on the grill, you always want to form the ribs the way you want them to cook, guys. So however you shape them when they get on the pit, that's how they're going to cook. So that's what we want to do is make sure we get them the shape we want. We want space in between, get good airflow all the way around them. boys on and give them shake to man we're gonna let it do what it do so just like that we got our ribs ready they're on the grill we're gonna close this bad boy up and let it do what it do all right guys so we got our ribs on so uh 
I'm expecting this to go. This could probably going to be, I don't know, somewhere around the four hour mark. Maybe a little over, touch over. We'll see. But what we're going to do here is we're going to let it smoke away here for a couple of hours or so. And uh, once we get the color that we're looking for, we'll uh, get them wrapped and we'll go from there. All right? I'll bring you back in. All right? All right, guys. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get our spritz put together. Um, and I thought I'd show you how I make it because I know it's a highly scientific uh, process to put together. So I know it can be very complex and difficult, but we're going to get through this. I'm going to learn you. All right. What we're going to do is before I get started, I'm going to show you something. So I got this little sprayer and everybody keeps asking me every time they see it, you know, I get messages. Dude, what sprayer is that you're using? How are you spritzing your ribs? Well, it's this. I'm using a little one liter. It's a little solo. Uh, it's kind of like a pesticide sprayer, really. I got it on Amazon. So I ordered it. I'll put the link in down below so you guys can uh, get it and pick that up if you want. Uh, but you know what? I like it. It's cool. I don't have to do a bunch of squeezing of a trigger to, to you know, spritz my ribs, especially when I do big cooks on my uh, trailer pit. I can just pump this thing up, pressurize it, one button push, spray everything I need to get sprayed. It's real done. It's done real quick and easy. So, but anyway, let's go ahead and get this put together. So again, we're using uh, apple cider vinegar and uh, apple juice. We're gonna go 50/50. And again, I know it's highly scientific and, and complex to put this together. I mean, you gotta measure that exact to the uh, to the ounce. Um, but you know, hey, we're gonna get it done, right? We're we gonna do this. So there you go. 50 50. ACV, apple juice, put the top on, spin it to close it. We got it locked down. All you gotta do at this point, pressurize. We're good to go, just like that. Spritz ready for the ribs. Alright? Alright. Hey, dog pound. So it's been about an hour or so, our ribs are on. Uh, we got the temp set at 275, smoke is rolling. So it's about that time we go ahead and take a look at them and see if we need to go ahead and spritz them, all right? All right, let's do it. Oh yeah, they're looking pretty good. Alrighty guys, we got them spritzed, they're going to keep on rolling, alright? So we're going to check back here in a little while and uh, see what the uh, ribs are looking like, making sure we got our right color before we wrap them. But hey, in the meantime, I got a special treat for you guys. Check this out, pretty cool. What's up, Dog Pound? How y'all doing? This is Red coming at you from Northern Virginia, co-CEO, head pit master, Pizza Aolu for Red's Barbecue and Pizzeria. I love you guys. Cheers. Drinking some bright IPA. Peace out. Y'all be good or be good at it. Hey, all right, guys. So, hey, thank you, Red. So, uh, Dog Pound, again, that was my man, Red, from uh, Red's Barbecue and Pizzeria. Hell of a guy. If you haven't been on his page, I'm telling you, go check it out. Link's down below. Give him a like. Give him a subscription, man. The dude is just off the charts. All right? All right, guys. So, it's been about another 45 minutes since uh, we last spritzed our ribs. So, we're going to take a look. And uh, if we're looking like the colors where we want them, we're going to go ahead and get them wrapped. And uh, we're going to tenderize them, all right? Let's check it out. So what we're gonna do is I got my foil here and um, we're gonna go ahead and just spray some of that uh, ACV and apple juice there. And we're gonna take the rack, the rack of ribs and we're gonna put them uh, meat side down.
careful not to poke any holes in the uh, foil. Alrighty guys, so we got our uh, ribs wrapped and we got them back on the pit. So we're going to let them tenderize here for a little while and uh, we'll probably check them here in about an hour or so and uh, we'll see where they're at then. Alright? Alright right, guys, so it's time for us to check our ribs. We've got them wrapped up and uh, if they're tender to where we need to be, we'll go ahead and get them off. We'll check to see. We're going to use a toothpick here and uh, check to see just how tender they are, okay? First rack here. It looks like uh, looks like they're they're tender enough. They're kind of where I want them to be. Check our second rack here. Got some blowouts there on the bones. And they look like they're where they need to be as well. All right, so they're all looking like they need to be here, guys. So I think we're going to go ahead and uh, get them off here and get them soft so they can glaze over. All righty, let's get these guys soft. get the sauce put on these guys here and uh, probably let them glaze over for the next probably uh, 15 minutes or so. Alrighty guys, ribs are sauce, they're going to be glazed here. We, like I said, going to let them go here for a little bit longer until they get a little tacky. And then, hey, it'll be time to get them off. Alright. Yes sir, I think we're going to go ahead and flip these bad boys and uh, get the other side sauced. Hashtag Freedom Ribs is going to be in the book soon. Welcome back. Alright guys, so hey, it's been about 15 minutes since we put the uh, sauce on the top side of these ribs. So let's get them off here. The color on them is looking pretty damn good. ribs are off we're gonna get them in let them rest and we'll be ready to do this all right guys so now that we got the ribs off and they're gonna get the rest before we uh get them cut hey i got another treat for you 
check this out. What up, Dark Pound? This is CJ from Cooking with CJ. You know I'm a member of that Dark Pound with the Dark Father in the house. All right, I just want y'all to check out what he's doing. The Dark Father is doing some real barbecue, not this fake Southern California stuff that your boy CJ does. Today with the Freedom Ribs collaboration, I'm doing Cadillac Ribs. And since I'm in SoCal, we're calling them Hollywood Ribs. All right, so stay tuned and check out what we're doing on this collaboration. You have a great time. Hey, all right, CJ, my man. All right, guys, hey, that was my man CJ from Cooking with CJ. Again, if you haven't been on his page, links down below. Go check it out. Guarantee you won't be disappointed. Don't let that man fool you. He he knows what he's doing with the grill. He can cook. He, he's got some tricks up his sleeve. So, uh, all right, guys, let's... Uh, get these ribs rested let's get them cut man because you know what it's time to eat hashtag freedom ribs let's go all right guys so we got the ribs off they've rested they're looking pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and slice them up see what we got This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. Repeat, this is not a test. What's up, guys? It's me, Kenneth, with What's New Barbecue. Fancy seeing y'all here, considering I believe y'all are at the Dog Father's location and y'all are part of the Dog Pound. But today I'm in a big collaboration with my buddy Alton and many other YouTubers. You'll see those links down below in everybody's videos. And we're doing Freedom Ribs. I appreciate everybody for stopping by What's New Barbecue. Let's get to these ribs. Here, see what we're working with. Oh yeah. Nice and tender. Bites clean. Nice little sweet heat. Alrighty. So there you have it. It's in the books. Hashtag Freedom Ribs.